What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're simply going to jump into um, Beamer code in the M340i, uh, simply just looking at the different uh, features, five or six functionalities within the instrument cluster. So there's M Sport, M Performance 1, M Performance 2, Alpina, um, something else. Anyways, we'll go through it. I'm not going to go too much into the functionality of Beamer code, although I will dive into that uh, briefly using the Keys ENET Wi Fi adapter, which is awesome. But very simply, just going to run through what they look like, the functionality of the five different layouts, kind of what they do, what they look like, because some of them are different. Um, this video is intended for that, so let's jump into it. Okay, so for those of you who have not used the Keys, Enet Wi-Fi adapter. This thing is incredible. Um, I'll put a link below for uh, Keys Motorsports uh, how-to video on this. But um, simply, all you're doing is connecting this to the OBD2. Once it's connected, it clicks, and you see the little green light comes on. That means you are good to go. So once you hop in the car, I always put my seatbelt on which is good for any coating. It's always a good idea to uh, put the seatbelt on because it keeps the car from cutting itself off. Um, so from here, what we're gonna do is simply connect. So go over here, find the keys adapter. I always like to disconnect um, cellular, Bluetooth, leave Wi-Fi connected because that's how it's gonna connect here. All right, so once we're connected to keys, um, Seatbelt's on, adapter's plugged in, you're connected via Wi-Fi. Put the car in diagnostic mode, which for G-Series cars is pushing the start-stop button three times um, quickly. Car's gonna activate, and then you should get a notification that says diagnostic mode active. Uh, check engine light comes on, stating that it's in diagnostic mode. Okay, so simply, now we're going to pull up Beamer code Hit connect. Uh, we're not in the X5 today, we're in the three series. Usually between five to 10 seconds. Okay, so once we're in here, uh, we are going to hit the instrument cluster. And then we're gonna hit the layout. So you got six options here, right? Alpina. M and performance up to 160 miles per hour and performance up to 200 if I can get this thing to focus. Um, M Sport and then standard. So let's jump into uh, Alpina. So we're gonna click to Al Alpina. Gonna hit code. And it's gonna finish the code, start processing. Everything's gonna reset up here. As you can see, essentially what it does is indication under the fuel, uh, I'm sorry, on the engine temperature and fuel um, changes, Alpina logo up here, it goes to 210 miles per hour, which is strange. I'm not sure why it goes to 210 exactly, um, but kind of a blue layout on the background. Everything else is pretty much the same, but um, I don't know, kind of cool, not my favorite. All right, coding successful. We're going to go back in here. I'm going to hit the M layout. Go back. Hit code. Start coding. All right. Reset the ECU. This one's cool. Um, if I remember correctly, it shows up as a 3.0 CSL. Well, yes, it does. I'm not sure why it does that. If someone knows, then hit me up in the comments below. But the M shows up as 3.0 CSL, 200 miles per hour max, if you guys can see this. Um, it basically gives you, yeah, that right there. And then basically over here, you get the engine temp. So obviously the M340i is equipped with engine temp readout. So instead of just a mid-range temp, you can actually get uh, your 210 up to 300, low 120. Actually gives you a readout, which is pretty cool. That's the biggest change on this one. Um, doesn't give you an actual red line up here. Um, the 8,000 is obviously the same, but for this one, you know, it would be 6,500, but 
Um, other than that, the, oh, there is one more difference. The, right here, the uh, tachometer is kind of red and it has like a trailing red that goes all the way up, which is kind of cool. But other than that, that's the main difference there. Let's go back into what I had last time, which was in performance up to 160. So let's code that. This one's fairly simple. It's gonna look like the standard and performance layout, basically. Up to 160, same fuel, engine temp, no temp uh, numbers, just the standard display. RPM gauge is the same, pretty much the same. Now, if we go to the 200 here, all that does is it raises this up to 200. Everything else is the same. Uh, all right, switching over to M Sport. Hit code. This key's Wi-Fi adapter is really quick, you guys. Okay, so essentially jumps up with M. So instead of saying M340i, all it does is just show the M. So I think everything else shows M except the default, which this car is an M340i, but no other standard here, or I'm sorry, no other difference here. Everything else looks the same. And then the last one is standard, which the only difference in standard for me is it's gonna show the M340i versus the M. Engine temp, fuel, layout, and um, display is all the same. So not much of a difference there um, between the M Sport and the standard, once again, besides M340i. So that's the basic layout for the, uh, the six settings that you can change in the instrument cluster for the display options. So not too much of a difference, but for those of you who kind of wanted to know if you did buy Beamer code and you wanted to use an adapter, kind of what the difference would be, is it worth it to you? So once again, that's on the M340i. There are different ones. Um, my X5 has one that's different. I don't remember which one it is, but I think there's one that's different. But other than that, that's the main layout. All right, so let's back out of here. We're gonna hit disconnect once coding has been successful. Hit disconnect. Hat is disconnected. We're gonna throw that away. Cut the car off. Then we're gonna run over here and pull this guy straight down. Easy as that. Um, one more thing to note whenever you're coding, Make sure that you either have the car running, which this time I obviously did not because I was only doing it for a few moments. Um, but if the car is running, then the alternator is charging the battery so it doesn't die. And then you have a serious issue with uh, a possible ECU issue or put a trickle charger on it. But with the Keys Wi-Fi adapter, it's super fast. I never have any issues. If I'm jumping into code one specific item, it's never a problem for me, but just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions or want me to review anything else within Beamer Code, specifically within those items or those layouts, let me know. Leave a comment below and consider subscribing if you haven't. Thanks, guys. See ya.